Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is the update for Friday, October 11th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in college football for Friday night. Pac-12 action in just a moment. Before I get to that, you can receive 33% off the rest of the football season today over at DocSports.com. It's as simple as this. You go to DocSports.com, the website, you click on my homepage, you purchase the rest of the football season, box pops up, it'll ask you to enter a code word. That code word is FBSEASON33. FB season 33. It's all one word, 33% off the regular price for the rest of the college football and NFL season. Again, we've got a free pick in tonight's battle in the Pac-12 coming up on this report. First, a couple of quick notes. If you're run, running around, driving around, and uh, or in the office or at home on Friday afternoon, tune in to Visa, and I'll be on my usual uh, Fridays I'm down at Visa Studios, South Point Casino, and uh, I'll be on again 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific Time with Patrick Maher. We'll go over a bunch of games, college football, NFL, the whole shebang, every Friday at Visa Studios at the South Point Hotel and Casino. Check that out on Friday afternoon. Also wanted to mention that uh, our football plays are up for the entire weekend. All eight of our plays don't start going, don't kick off until 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific on Saturday. I've got four college football plays for Saturday, four more for Sunday's NFL. I've got a seven-star college football play on Saturday. I think one particular head coach in college football is in his defining moment in his time in this particular job, and that is our seven-unit play. I think he's going to come through with flying colors on Saturday. That's the lead play on Saturday's card. Sunday, we look to make it 7-0 on the season with six-star football plays. I've got a big six-unit play going on Sunday's NFL slate. Four plays in all, including that six-unit play. So it's a big weekend. Eight plays. We've got a seven-star Saturday, six-star Sunday. And by the way, those plays rated six stars and higher are elite-level football plays going back a couple of years now. Uh, in our last 70, have hit 63% against the spread. We are also 63% against the spread going back to September 22nd college football in the NFL. Last year, we were number one college football in the NFL. If we do what we did last year in October and November, we will probably finish up there again because we just went nutso this time last year as far as our wins were concerned in college football in the NFL. And again, we've started to get hot September 22nd up until through last night into today. Again, we are on a 63% college football and NFL winning run. So go grab all eight plays. They start Saturday. They go through Sunday. Seven stars, six star you don't want to miss out they're all available right now as i speak over at docsports.com I'll be in baseball action on Friday. That play will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. NLCS Game 1 takes place on Friday. Can't wait to dive into that. And again, that'll be ready on Friday morning, DocSports.com. The NHL, while well, we went into Thursday, and I'm talking about Thursday's games because they've yet to face off as we cut this video early, uh, but we're 5-2 and two this year in NHL action. 27-13 and 13 is our October-November run going back to the start of last year. I always talk about how I love October-November NHL and the numbers have proved it. All right, let's get to our free pick for Friday. It is the Pac-12 battle uh, between Colorado and Oregon, the game in Eugene. The weather is going to be decent. We like a whole lot of points. It's gone up a little bit to 59. We think that it still has room to get over this total without a lot of trouble. First of all, you've got that Colorado defense, which has not been good. Uh, they're bad against the pass, 124th in the country, 116th in total yards allowed per game. Uh, they've given up at least 30 points to every single team that they play so far this season, so not a great defense. The Oregon offense clicking about 450 yards, a little bit less than that per game. Uh, but they are scoring about 34 points per contest, and I expect even more than that on Friday night against this CU defense. Now, as far as Oregon's defense, all these great numbers, but they've not faced an offense yet. Even going all the way back to the game against Auburn, Auburn can't uh, pass the football. They're 104th in the nation in yards passing per game. So they haven't had a true test yet. I mean, you look at the offenses they faced of late, Montana, Stanford, California, they will get a test tonight, I believe, 
from this Colorado offense. And again, I do believe Oregon's going to win this football game. I think they're going to put up a whole lot of points. And I think Colorado's going to put up enough to send it over that posted total of 59. We know about what Oregon's done at home. Listen, I know a lot of those teams came before this current coaching staff, a lot of those home games, but it's like 56 and 26 as far as the over is concerned when they play in Eugene. I think they get back to playing overs here again in this matchup against this Colorado defense. So we're going to recommend a play on the over 59 between Colorado and Oregon Friday night college football. Real quick note, I'll be right back here early on Friday, probably around 8 p.m. Pacific at the latest on Friday night because we want to get that free college football play for Saturday out there uh, so as many people as possible can jump on board. And if they agree with the play that I'm going to give you Friday night, they'll be able to jump on it in plenty of time for Saturday's card. So should be back here about 8 p.m. Pacific on Friday night. We'll also have our UFC plays for this weekend posted by 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday night. Best of luck. Listen, let's cash that ticket between uh, Colorado and Oregon. Let's get over the total of 59. Best of luck to you and us. And again, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, obviously, I'm very appreciative of those who have done so thus far. Let's put Friday in the win column right back here Friday night about 8 p.m. Pacific time with Saturday's report. We'll talk to you then.